Um, how have you been? What's going on in your world? Oh, God, what a question. I've been okay. Um, you know, obviously, as with I think most people in the world, a lot of stuff in my life has changed kind of dramatically and quickly yeah. over the last, uh, let's say, two years. Um, and so Same. that was a little, that was a little bit of like a woo rough waters um Buckle and up. yeah I get a little motion sick so it was a little rough there for a while um you know I've I've always been open about the fact that I deal with depression and depression really rears its head when you are isolated and um you know going through transitions in your life yeah and so I had a, a rough time I kind of sat with what I've you know done in however many years and it's felt like two, but apparently it's been at least seven. Uh, yeah. And I, I sort of sat with it and was like, all right, what's, um, do we have a plan? What are we doing? What's working? What's not working? Yeah. Uh, are there things you want to try that you haven't tried yet? Like, do you want to do this anymore? And then of course, you know, as a, again, a woman in her mid thirties, your body's like, are we going to do the kid thing? Is that going to yeah. happen at Tell some point? Tell me about it. I it's know. Like having all of that happen at once. Um, very lucky that I have a wonderful uh, boyfriend who rode through it with me and an adorable dog who did so as well. But it, it was a tough time. And, um, and so now, to answer your actual question, how am I? Um, now I am working. And I'm working at something I've never done before and never in a million years thought they would allow me to do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in the booth for uh, Friday Night Baseball on Apple TV Plus, not to give a shout out, but shout out. Give the shout out, shout it from the rooftops. It's, and it's, it is so hard, Renee. Uh, it is I, so I hard I and it's so different from anything I've ever done, but I'm, I'm still I think we're like nine weeks in now. I'm still excited. I get excited around this time every week for like what the game is going to be this week. And so like I, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it's hard and people aren't being very nice. You don't um, say. But I, but I think that like I keep checking myself to be like, look, if you don't enjoy this, you don't have to do this. This yeah. might have just been a mistake. And it doesn't have to be like a career defining mistake. It can just be like, hey, you tried it and it didn't work. So yeah. let's pivot. And so I keep checking with myself, but myself keeps responding with like, no, I think we should keep going. And that's so that's, great. that's where I'm at. I feel like um, given your skill set and your personality that I, I know from seeing your shows and just seeing you as a personality, I feel like it should be this great fit of this quick thinker. You're very witty and sharp and it's finding a way to apply that into something that has never been done before, which is obviously not easy to do, as you said. Um, so what have been some of the learning curves of trying to jump in there as a female voice? I hate even saying that, but it's true. You jump in there as a female voice and you, you it's a three-man booth, yeah? Mm -hmm. And trying to find what your voice is, how you can still have that fun, witty side of Katie Nolan and bring that to the sport. Oh, I could, this could be the rest of the podcast. I could, here you we would go. go back and forth on this one question for the rest of the podcast. Um, so a couple tough things that are separate from the things you've already mentioned are tough before we get to those. Um, I got this job the day after they had their first rehearsal, which was the week before the first game. So I got this job and that Friday was traveling. You're um, booked, baby. And it was just like a, are we doing this? I guess I'm doing this. And then like, you need to hurry up and do this. So it was, it came together very last minute. Whereas I think if I had had, I don't know, a couple months to ease from only playing video games and never putting pants on um, all day to like getting dressed and doing your hair and makeup in front of a camera. Uh, I think I would have spent a lot of that like listening to booths that people like or you know watching games from the last season to just get back in the vibe of sure um but again i had a day so um so it was kind of that was a little bit stressful uh and then the fact that the booth itself i didn't meet my booth mates steven nelson and hunter pence until uh, and I should mention Heidi Watney is on the field. I always, she's not in the booth, but she is a huge she's part there, of She's there, yes. Um, I didn't I meet always them hear until- she's a gem too, so shout out to Heidi. And she's like royalty to me because I'm a Red Sox fan and she was <laughs> our, our reporter. And so yeah. like, when I heard she was working on it, I was like, um, the yeah. maybe jumped to yes, I have to work with Heidi Watney. <laughs> and she's every bit a queen. 
that I thought she was. The best. But I digress. I hadn't, I didn't meet them until the day before slash some of them the day of our very first game, which let that, our chemistry. that's wild. And yeah. I love meeting new people and facilitating conversations between groups of people that may not know each other. It's like my favorite thing to do, but doing so while also technically calling a major league baseball game that is not um this isn't a simulcast which I think part of my brain was like well if they can do it then I can do and it was like oh no no this is the broadcast so if a fan of this team like a die hard angry fan of this team is wanting to watch this game they don't care about you figuring it out they need you to call the game that's happening we they don't love care. learning on the job on a they're national like, Yeah, They're like, they will never, they might never watch Friday Night Baseball again. They don't mm-hmm. care. They're going to watch every game that their team plays. So that was a little um, stressful. And then the, the other part is uh, Hunter has, uh, Hunter Pence very recently was a baseball player. Yeah. Um, he hasn't been a broadcaster for an extremely long time. He's not a, you know, a long time, well tenured play by play guy. Yeah. which is exactly why they want him and which is exactly why I love him as a person. But it's also like none of us, of the three of us, are like, oh, this is what happens when this happens. Jesus, this take the wheel. This is what you do when this happens. Like, yeah. hey, kiddo, just right. watch me. I got it. We don't really have that. I mean, and Steven Nelson, also incredible, very experienced. I have no idea how he does the actual play-by-play. Of, that sounds, it's the craziest job to me. I'm yeah. watching people hand him slips of paper and he's like reading them while also watching the game, while also scoring it. I'm like, you're out of your mind. I have no I idea how you're doing Michael it. Michael Cole would do that. When I first started doing commentary with WWE and I was like the same, I was like in the weeds where I'm like, what is happening? What am I doing? Oh my God, where do I go? What do I say? What do I do with my hands? And he's sitting there just like, reading the script that is changing, getting notes from Vince or from Kevin Dunn, reacting to that stuff, texting his wife, like doing 16 different, yeah. catching his like uh door, the door app thing, whatever. Like he would see who's like ringing his doorbell what? to like drop off packages. Like what is what? happening? And he's just like, so smooth. Doesn't miss a beat. It's what? nuts. Oh How inferior God. does it make you feel? Cause you're like, I can't find the stat that I know I wrote down, but I have six notebooks in front of me and idiot me oh can't remember God. what notebook this stupid stat is in. So I'm looking for one thing I once knew and he's using 800 things he currently knows at the oh. same time. Oh it's my so- God. The relatability to oh me for God. that is so funny. The amount of times that I'd be like, notes, 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 this line, this line, this line, I'm like, oh. What was the thing I wanted to say? Shit, the moment's passed. Now we've moved on to another segment. It's Can I crazy. find a way to shoehorn that line back? And in then there? you're like, and then you do, and it's crickets, and you're like, I should have left that. I should have left it. It's the moment. <laughs> it is so hard to find. So the point I'm making is like the it's all we're all new. We're all new to each other. We're all new to the job relatively, especially in that industry where like the people who've done it have mostly done it for a really, really long time. Yeah. So we're figuring all that out. And at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how to be this new question mark. Like it, the, it, the goal is to be a gateway. I know that sounds like I think I'm some, ooh. my goal is to be like, no, well, but it's true. Love sports. It's like what I wanted to do with the Olympics too, and still want to do. If you like sports, you will like this thing, even yes. if you think you don't like it. You might think you don't like it because you don't like uh, something about it that wasn't explained to you, or you might not like it because you don't understand it, or you might not like, but whatever it is, it can be awesome. 